On the June night when Kawhi Leonard's season abruptly ended, the full potential of his partnership with Paul George was only beginning to be realized. There had been flashes of it in their two seasons on the Clippers. On a cold Minnesota night in December 2019, the All-Star forwards became the first players in franchise history to both score at least 40 points in the same game. Months later in their first postseason together, George scored 35 points and Leonard 32 in a rout of Dallas that set up their eventual first-round series victory. But not until last month, after the Clippers returned home having lost their first two games at top-seeded Utah, only to even the series behind a pair of dominant performances by their stars, had Leonard and George produced overlapping, dominant performances so consistently under significant stakes. Leonard responded with 34 points and 12 rebounds, while George added 31 points, including six three-pointers, in a Game 3 victory. Their assists led to 25 more points. Two nights later, George scored 31 more, his nine free throws the result of aggressive drives, and Leonard added 31, including two on a stunning dunk, behind 10 free throws to level the series. We got full trust in our teammates, George said after Game 3. Myself and Kawhi got full trust in each other. It's a healthy mix. This was the mix envisioned from the pair in 2019, when Leonard signed as a free agent after spurring the Clippers' front office to acquire George in a trade that limited the Clippers' future assets but intended to maximize their present. The pair of Southern Californians had wanted to team up. But it had taken time to learn how to complement another, Leonard acknowledged after the win in Game 3. The two-year process required Leonard and George to recover from injuries, commit to more engaged leadership styles and a challenge from coach Tyrone Liu to become better playmakers for their teammates. Patience was required as they adjusted from Doc Rivers' playbook and style during their first season together to those of Liu. It laid the groundwork for their controlling performances to spark the Clippers' resurgence against the Jazz, a two-game run that left some to dream about how deeply the 1-2 punch could take the Clippers in the postseason. Our chemistry is still growing, Leonard said after Game 4. Whether that union will continue to grow is the central question facing the Clippers offseason. Two years after Leonard, enticed by the presence of George, chose the Clippers, will he still feel the same when free agency begins August 2? Leonard can opt into the final year of his contract for $36 million, or become an unrestricted free agent by declining. Even after injuring his right knee in Game 4 against Utah and missing the Clippers' eight remaining games, Leonard will hold significant leverage after averaging 30. 4 points, 7, 7 rebounds and 4.